Providing the best possible fitness options for servicemen and women and their families who live and work near Fort Bragg is the goal of the very first Operation Heart First grant recipients, Tristan and Hannah Ambrzeski. Thank you for your service to our country and now we welcome you to our community and are so happy to have you here. Thank you. The Fort Bragg community was quick to embrace the Ambrzeski's new gym, which opened last April. We've currently been open for eight days and our total member count is 360. Like we want this to be the fun place for them to come. Like, cheers without the beers. Like we want this to be your good time place to get healthy. The Ambrzeskis are also providing jobs for military spouses like Lauren Haggett. Finding out that the owners of this gym are also military veterans and being able to be a part of something where I can not only work for military veterans, but for a company that supports military veterans was extremely thrilling to me. And to those Anytime Fitness franchisees who helped make all of this possible by contributing to the Heart First Fund. Like I feel blessed that we had this opportunity. I feel like so thankful that we're able to do this. I feel so proud that the people in here are because of you guys and because of us being able to bring it together. The Ambrzeskis would like to say just three things. First off, thank you. For second off, thank you. And third off, thank you. This just in, you are looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center and we have unconfirmed reports this morning. Among the very first soldiers sent to defend America after 9-11 was Platoon Sergeant Shea Thorne. First deployment was to Afghanistan uh, in 2001, immediately after 9-11 and by immediately I would say in October uh, of 2001. Sergeant Thorne and his platoon maintained the weapon systems on U.S. military attack helicopters. That's my responsibility, my platoon's responsibility, is uh, making sure that when those pilots and crew chiefs go execute whatever mission that they've been given to execute, uh, that their weapon systems are uh, reliable and well-maintained and work when they need them, every time they need them. Sergeant Thorne also served as jump master on multiple missions. The Air Force owns the airplane, so they're, they're responsible for the airplane, but once the doors open uh, and we're headed towards the drop zone, uh, then it becomes the Army Jump Master's responsibility to get everybody out of the plane safely. First in Afghanistan and then Iraq, Sergeant Thorne was deployed eight times in just five years. We did 90 days in and 90 days home, essentially for five years. While stationed at Fort Rucker in 2009, Shea and his wife Julie joined the Anytime Fitness Gym in Enterprise, Alabama. And so when we went home that day, you know, we were so excited about just being a part of the gym, just being members, but um, we started talking about it and he was like, this is what we're, you know, I would love to do this. And I was like, yeah, I mean, we, we really love the model. I mean, financially, I'm not sure we could have ever got there, but uh, it certainly was, uh, a uh, number one goal of ours was to be anytime fitness franchisees when we retired from the Army. After 24 years of active duty, Shea retired from the Army in September of 2015. A few months later, Julie saw a teed up for the troops posting about Operation Heart First and convinced Shea to apply. Attending an event where their son was about to receive an award of valor, the Thorns were already emotional when they got a Skype call from Tee It Up for the Troops. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. We would like to invite you to be our second Operation Heart First recipient and join us as a partner with Finding Anytime Fitness and launching a franchise in uh, the Columbus, Georgia area. Congratulations. Shay and Julie were selected from dozens of highly qualified applicants and they hope to open an Anytime Fitness gym near Fort Benning sometime next year. Now I'm able to, to do what I've always wanted to do and that after I retire, and that's become an Anytime Fitness franchisee, and that's just incredible to me. He doesn't ask for much. Um, so for him to be able to have something like this, like I know he's going to give his heart and soul. You know, we both will, but for him to have it, it's amazing. It is overwhelming, and I am 
just incredibly humbled to have been selected for this incredible opportunity. I mean, we're both blown away. To be able to, to open a franchise and hire service members or veterans and their spouses and their children, like that's, that's what I can't wait for.